When I was starting out, I loved the idea of making my own games. And here I am today, teaching you how to make your own Hangman game. So, let's start with this. So I'm gonna import random to the module that we're gonna use. And then I'm gonna, I'm actually going to copy and paste a list of words. All right. Like that, all right. As you can see, a few words, right. And then I'm actually going to copy and paste this bit of code as well because I want to explain it to you but I don't want to bore you while I'm actually writing it. So basically these are little hangman graphics to show to the user. You'll see how we are going to use them later on. By the way, don't worry if Visual Studio Code gives you warnings because everything is going to work fine. So as you can see, I'm talking about these warnings. So these are a list of sort of steps that will visually tell the user the status of the game, right? So this is actually like, for example, this is the rope, this is the head, the body, the arm, etc., etc. All right? This is a line fit character, which means Python is going to print all of the things after in a new line, etc., etc. All right? By the way, you have to actually add all the spaces and stuff. So for example, here, I've added a space, but it's just because if I removed this space, this would be treated as a character, a literal character, but I want it to be treated as the end of the string. So I'm gonna add that space. All right. So let's start by creating a variable, number of mistakes, is equal to zero. In this variable, there will be the number of mistakes made by the user, right? Then let us guessed, empty list, all right? Number allowed equal to the length of the hangman graphics list, all right? So you could actually make the game more difficult or easier by actually changing the number of things inside the list. So you could actually add, I don't know, like more steps, or maybe you could actually remove steps. For example, instead of having body, body arm, body arm arm, right? You can do like body arm arm in the same step. So it would be one step instead of three. So one mistake instead of three. Then I'm actually going to get a word out of the words list. I'm going to use random for that. So random choice. I'm going to pass the words list. So choice is a method of the random module, of course. It randomly picks an element from the list. All right. So in this case, a word for us. And then I'm going to do this. Word, all right. So here I'm actually using the constructor list. And as you can see, we passed a word into the constructor. And our word is actually a string, right? So list can take an iterable as argument. And in this case, a string is a text sequence, which is actually an iterable, all right? So this constructor will return a list whose items are the same as the iterable items. In this case, the items will actually be the letters of the word, right? So if the word was car, the list would be C-A-R, right? Okay, perfect. And then wrong letters. And in this list, we're going to append all the letters that the user tried to guess, but they are not right, of course. So. I'm going to print a little line and then print the word has letters format just to let the user know how many letters and then we're going to start a little game. 
mistakes is less than the number of mistakes allowed. So basically the game will run until the number of mistakes is equal to the number of mistakes allowed, okay? So as long as the number of mistakes made by the user is less than the number of mistakes allowed, the game is gonna go on and on and on. All right, so I'll print a little line, do this, right? So print wrong letters. All right, and I'm going to do this. So here I want to actually print all the wrong letters that the user entered, okay? I want to look through the list of wrong letters. So here I write this string and then I use and so Python doesn't actually go down a line. So I want wrong letters, then the space, and then all the letters here, okay? So now I'm gonna look through full letter in wrong letters. I'm gonna print all the letters. Of course, the first time it's gonna be empty. Comma, space, and then format. I'm gonna use letter. Then here, the end again, because I don't want Python to go down one line for each letter. I want all the letters in the same line. Okay, perfect. I'll print line. Okay. And then I'm going to print this is left, that, format. Then here, num mistakes allowed, minus num mistakes. And now I want the user to actually enter a letter. A letter, All right, like that. Just to be clear, I'm not going to check whether the user enters a letter, a space, a number, etc., etc. You can do that if you want, but it would take too long for me to implement every little check and stuff. So feel free to actually do that on your own. It's also a good exercise. However, I'm going to check if the letter has already been guessed or entered before because we actually need that check. So while letter user in letters guessed or letter user in wrong letters. So basically I check if the letter has already been guessed or if the letter is inside the wrong letters list, which means that actually the user entered that before. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to print one line and then I'm going to print a little message like you have already entered this letter and uh, another one like that. And then here, letter user to input as up above, enter a letter. All right, so this is gonna loop until the user actually enters a right letter, okay? A letter that hasn't been entered. Otherwise, it's gonna keep looping, 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 okay? Now, if letter user not in letters word, all right, so it's not actually a letter that is part of the word, I'm gonna increase the number of mistakes by one, and also I'm going to add that letter to my list using append, right, perfect. I'm gonna print thing and I'm gonna print word like that with this. So down here I actually want to print word and then after that all the letters of the word, but only the letters that the user actually guessed, okay? And for all the letters that the user hasn't guessed yet, I'm going to actually print an underscore, all right? And then I'm gonna start looping through the letters of the word. This is actually the list of all the letters, all right? So if the letter entered by the user is equal to the letter, then I'm gonna append it 
let us guess and let's use it all right so here we actually look through all the letters in the word we check if the letter the user is equal to the letter of the word and then if the letter is actually equal we're going to add it to letters guessed all right all right so now i'm going to letters word so if the letter is in letters guessed then i'm going to actually print my letter a space like that and then end okay but if the letter is not actually in the letters guess so hasn't been guessed yet i'm going to print an underscore and a space and like that okay so i could have done it all in the same loop but i figured it would be easier to understand in this way okay also because it doesn't take long to look through a few letters in a word it'd be different if we had millions of things because we would have to look through millions of things twice but this is not the case you know sometimes it's better to have a cleaner and more straightforward code instead of having a shorter and maybe slightly faster code of course if you know that it's going to be too slow all right you want to try to to put everything inside the same loop in this case i decided to do this that way okay so for those of you who find this to be difficult i'm going to go through that one more time so here we look through the letters in the word let's say car so c a r so the first letter is c so it checks if the letter of the user that the user entered is equal to c let's say it is so it's gonna go down here and add the c to our list of letters guessed okay then a let's say that a is not actually the letter entered by the user so it's not gonna add anything the r the same okay so here you are going to have all the letters guessed by the user because it checks letter by letter i hope that makes sense down here we want to actually print the letter only if it's already been guessed by the user so i'm going to look through all the letters in the word let's say c a r car all right let's say the letter is now c okay c is in letters guessed yeah because here we actually entered c right so we're going to print c and then a space right and stay in the same line then it goes to a a is not in letters guessed because a hasn't been guessed yet so it's going to go down here print an underscore and then a space right so this is how it works hopefully that makes sense all right so now i'm going to print as usual a little space and then i'm going to see if there are mistakes and i'm going to print a little graphic so number mistakes minus one here i'm actually checking if the user made a mistake so if they did i'm gonna print a little graphic so let's say that we made one mistake right so one mistake minus one i'm gonna print this little line all right then let's say that we made i don't know five mistakes so five minus one it's gonna be zero one two three four so this is going to be printed right because five mistakes minus one is four so why am i actually doing this the minus one because as you know the list is zero indexed so this is zero this is one this is two this is three etc okay so if we had like let's say one mistake that would be like one and without the minus one would be just one so it would start from this one but i want to start from this one all right so perfect then i'm going to actually print another little line and then this separator right like that then i'm gonna check if the length of letters guessed is equal to the length of letters word all right 
that means that I actually won. So I'm going to write you won, right? And then I'm going to break because I actually won. So I don't want to enter other letters, right? So I'm going to break out of the loop. So then when we exit the loop, I'm going to check if the number of mistakes is equal to the number of mistakes allowed, right? I'm going to print you lost try again so basically here if you break out the loop right because you won the number of mistakes cannot be equal to the number of mistakes allowed right because you exited before right so this is not going to be printed but if you actually exited because the condition returned false up here, right? So the number of mistakes is actually equal to the number of mistakes allowed. So you are gonna exit the loop, right? And the number of mistakes made by the user is actually equal to the number of mistakes allowed because otherwise we wouldn't have exited the loop, right? So I'm gonna print you lost try again, right? Now we can actually try to run the code. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna Open the terminal. All right, so let's start running Python game like that. So five letters, wrong letters, zero as you can see, nine guesses left. Enter a letter, let's say E. All right, so the E is not one of the letters, as you can see, all the underscores, and then the little graphic here and this line to divide everything. All right, and also we've got the E here, and then guesses left instead of nine, eight, all right, perfect. So T, our oh, T is actually one of the letters, so it's now added here. And also the graphic is still the same, all right? And the guesses left is still the same. So let's try to actually do that. As you can see, I've already entered the E, so I've got that. So let's try R, M, N, G, H R again no right so let's say S is actually part of the word let's try B oh it's not actually part of the word so we've lost as you can see we've got all the little graphics like this this as you can see is working just fine right look at look at the graphics right that so we've actually lost right so we need to try again as you can see we haven't guessed the word so let's clear this out and restart the game. So let's try to actually guess it. Right, let's try A. All right, so maybe it could be R. Right, so we actually won. As you can see, you won, right? So it looks like it's working, right? Perfect, so as usual, I'm gonna actually close everything and that's it